I went to Scotia recently. Actually, I went there to get tested for COVID-19 because it's one of the only places in Humboldt County, California that you can get tested for COVID-19. And at that point, I could not get an appointment in Eureka and I needed to get tested right away, so I had to go to Scotia. First, I'm gonna show you the article and then I'm gonna show you some videos of when I went to Scotia to get tested for COVID-19. Here is the article. 12 amazing US company towns you can still visit for the low key tourist in all of us. Published on December 25th, 2020. Yes, they published this article on Christmas. This is the intro paragraph to the article talking about how the towns featured in the article were built by corporations. And the last sentence in the intro says, here are 12 examples of company towns you can still visit today. And 11th on their list is Scotia, California. And the ads on the article talk about COVID-19 safety. Have you ever done this before? Yes, I have. Have you done it with us? Yes, I have. This is the Palco Pharmacy in Scotia, California, where I just got tested for COVID-19. People, I will make a better video of this town when we're not sick and when we can actually Whoa, walk around and round. explore and go into businesses. Imagine cutting that with a cross For now, ball. we're turning right and leaving this town for now. The breaking news from where I live in Humboldt County, California, is that Humboldt County just had its 2,000th case of COVID-19. And our case numbers are now high enough to move Humboldt County, California from the red tier that allows restaurants to be open at a limited capacity to the more restrictive purple tier that would require all restaurants to be closed other than for takeout. Unfortunately, for the people of our county, there's a loophole in the law that's going to allow them to keep Humboldt County's restaurants open for up to two more weeks. The law says that you can't change a county's tier more frequently than every two weeks. So I'm not sure if they have to wait two weeks from the date of the last time they changed it or two weeks from the date of Humboldt County's case numbers getting high enough to change it. but the restaurants are not going to be closed immediately, even though they actually should be. Meanwhile, the rest of California seems to be basically having a COVID-19 apocalypse. For example, Los Angeles' hospitals are so overwhelmed that some people who are in car accidents or have heart attacks aren't even being taken to the hospitals to be saved and they're just being left to die. Also, breaking news from Los Angeles is they definitely are having a surge in cases related to people gathering on Christmas. So, with all of this going on, I am curious why popular mechanics decided to write an article about 12 towns you can still go visit including a small town called Scotia in Humboldt County, California. I went to Scotia recently. Actually, I went there to get tested for COVID-19 because it's one of the only places in Humboldt County, California that you can get tested for COVID-19. And at that point, I could not get an appointment in Eureka and I needed to get tested right away, so I had to go to Scotia. So first, I'm gonna show you the article and then I'm gonna show you some videos of when I went to Scotia to get tested for COVID-19. Here is the article. 12 amazing US company towns you can still visit for the low key tourist in all of us. Published on December 25th, 
2020. Yes, they published this article on Crispus. This is the intro paragraph to the article talking about how the towns featured in the article were built by corporations. And the last sentence in the intro says, here are 12 examples of company towns you can still visit today. And 11th on their list is Scotia, California. And the ads on the article talk about COVID-19 safety. And this is what it says, all it says about Scotia, California. Sorry about the sound of my cat <laughs> using the litter box in the background. I'm actually going to stop recording this video clip now, not only because I'm done, but because I think my cat pooped. <laughs> First, I just want to say one more thing. I read this entire article and it doesn't say one single thing about being COVID-19 safe while traveling or even not traveling right now. Even after starting their article by calling them 12 towns you can still visit today. What were they thinking? Who wrote this article? I'm gonna scroll up and see who wrote this article. Elizabeth Yuko. Elizabeth Yuko, what were you thinking? I'm gonna tweet this video to Elizabeth Yuko. Shame on Elizabeth Yuko and Popular Mechanics for publishing this, especially in Christmas. Like, what were they thinking? And this is who Elizabeth Yuko is. Not only a journalist, but also a bioethicist. Like a bioethicist is promoting people traveling to small towns in areas where they're just now starting to experience COVID-19 outbreaks during the COVID-19 pandemic. <sighs> people. I don't think that's very bioethical of her. Do you, people? Yesterday, my boyfriend got tested for COVID-19 about 100 miles north of where I live. And today, I am going to get tested for COVID-19 about 100 miles south of where I live. Yeah, we're from Rio. Rio Del, California. On our way to Scotia, California, the town just south of Rio Del. Yes, I have. Have you done it with us? Yes, I have. This is the Palco Pharmacy in Scotia, California, where I just got tested for COVID-19. And after the employee who was wearing a mask, but no face shield, gave somebody else their test kit, she didn't change her gloves or sterilize her hands before she gave me my test kit. And then her friend walking past the pharmacy while apparently just walking down the street who wasn't wearing a mask or gloves opened the door for her because her hands were full of people's COVID-19 samples. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a real quick tour of this interesting town. They need a bug. Before we get some get food, turn right, not left at a restaurant where we're gonna order food from online and do a contactless pickup. The town of Scotia. Scotia Business Park. We're not going there. We're There's just more geese. driving. Where's the geese? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why? Why are there so many geese? This is an interesting town. And many of the houses are like the houses That's in my neighborhood. Fun meaning they were built out of scrap pieces of lumber from the lumber mill yards like by houses. and for the lumber mill workers. I like these houses too. <laughs> but what's up with these geese? So oh my God, stop the car. <laughs> Are they here because of the pond? There's ducks? Are those ducks or just more geese? What are those? Oh my god, this entire thing is a pond. 
You just can't tell because it's covered with plants. This entire thing, I think, is water. Oh, ducks are coming too. They're like mallard ducks or something. Look. Look at these ducks. Oh my God, they're like friendly birds. Imagine living like in one of these houses where this is what you see out of your window when you look like straight up because your window is like below the level of this street. The main part of this town yeah. is this way. You wish you could be a goose? And we are going to really quickly drive through it. Wow, look at that big log. On display. I love these quaint old houses that all kind of look the same because they're all about the same size and many of them have a similar looking front porch. like this people i will make a better video of this town when we're not sick and when we can actually oh, walk around and ground. explore and go into businesses that with the cross for now ball. we're turning right and leaving this town for now we are now driving across the eagle prairie bridge Built which connects scotia to rio dow and over there is highway 101 which has its own bridge you can see a truck down at the brick bar and this is the town of Rio Del. We will not be stopping here because we are all sneezing and coughing. I was just going to get a video <laughs> Chew, of it. COVID. Cough, cough, cough. As we were driving through. All right, people. Now that you've seen my video footage, I have something to say to popular mechanics. What were you thinking? Publishing an article about 12 towns you can still go visit on Christmas when our government was advising people not to travel. And why would you put a town in California on your list? Yes, the town does happen to be in Humboldt County, California, a county with some of the lowest COVID-19 case numbers in all of California. But there are still people with COVID-19 here. A lot of people don't want tourists coming here because they think they're gonna spread it here. And to get here, you'd either have to fly on a plane or travel through parts of California that do have really high COVID-19 case numbers. So what were you thinking? Publishing that article was highly irresponsible of you. You should not have done that. If you were gonna write an article about those towns, you should have written an article about how amazing they were, how beautiful they were, anything about them other than their places you can still go visit right now. Shame on you. I would like to end this video by telling you something awful. I didn't want to make a video talking about this until I got my test results, but unfortunately, I believe they've been delayed over the weekend, so I'm not gonna find out until Monday. But to make a long story short, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, I've literally gotten sick with COVID-19 symptoms like once or twice a month, and I've tested negative every single time, except for that time I got tested in Scotia. I never got my test results that time, but my boyfriend actually got tested the day before that, and he tested negative, so most likely I didn't have it that time. After going to the restaurant and filming how they were not following the COVID-19 safety guidelines on New Year's Eve and coming home and jokingly speculating about whether I got steak with a side of COVID-19, a few days later, I started getting COVID-19 symptoms, including a fever, which is something I rarely get. I don't seem to be very prone to fevers, even if I'm really, really sick. So... I 
got tested for COVID-19 again, luckily in Eureka, California this time, because Scotia is like over an hour away from my house. And it's really annoying to drive there just to get tested for COVID-19, which I've done twice now, by the way. So hopefully um, by Monday, I will know if I got staked with the sign of COVID-19 while well, filming a video about why you shouldn't do what I was doing because if you did, you could get COVID-19. So wouldn't it just be like so ironic if I actually got COVID-19 going to a unsafe restaurant one time when many of the people watching this video have done that hundreds of times and not gotten COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, that's my luck. Anyway, I am now going to end this video. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to help me to make more videos, you can by donating money to me on Patreon or other sites or buying things for me off of Amazon or other sites. Thank you for watching this video. Bye, people.